Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Crusader Kings 2 with me Alpha Pi Omega and the Kingdom of Rikadza. So last session was sort of a maintaining and expansion and today I have way more time but I think we're gonna continue in the set tone where we do really want to see uh, our trade posts upgraded and we do want to invest a bit more in our kingdom especially now that uh, our uh, king Punku Gonfu II is um, able to manage this whole mess of a kingdom that we have. The only exception would be if we manage to fabricate a claim on Lhasa. I would then do whatever I could do to go and have this guy uh, defeated. Actually, is there any chance? I don't think there is. Could offer him a vassalization. No? <laughs> okay. Whatever, dude. I understand. Um, but yeah, Lhasa would be a great target for us. It's our primary target right now. Together with Dazi, uh, we could create another land that we could give to maybe our... Uh, next son or grandson. If we ever have a son right now, our grandson, Duke Pung Zaisi II, is gonna get Lhasa and Dazi. That's for sure. What's funny is that Lhasa is uh, probably way more valuable than our current place of residence, yeah. But you know, that, that's just how it is. That's just how it is. We have strong enough core to take care of Lhasa. And you know, we're gonna do what we're doing so far. We're gonna carefully make sure that uh, no vassal of ours becomes uh, too strong. We're gonna give out single counties to them and make sure that they enjoy that way. Designated regent. And well, my queen will be my designated region. Why would I not do that? And we have the apprentice free again. Did she already lose that? Okay, you know what, Gonfu? We had our differences, but now you're gonna become my apprentice. Because I do feel like you could use some help. And what do you want? To the Honorable King Pung Gunfu II, blessing upon you and your house, we offer you the safe release of Han Wenying. Iron side for the modest sum of 10 gold. What? Where did they get her? Your courtier. Well, okay, sure. Are you of my dynasty? No, I don't know how they got her, but I'm happy to pay her safe, pay for her safe release, though I really don't know who she is and why he's offering that to me. Are there any other unfortunate people that you're having in your... No? Okay. And there we go, you bastard. You're gonna get killed. Mangyu prospers. Awesome, we're starting to get really good with this. The prosperity traits are really valuable. And they're gonna give us even a bit more. Yes, 22.6 in the trade post income. I really wonder what big of a difference this should be because when you look at that, it nearly doubles the trade value and trade route 12. So. I do, do, do wonder. Oh, hello. Yeah, that war is probably over. Army. Oh, that's a Guang Pochoka uprising. Oh, that's not an army of my. Ha, huh, interesting. I thought it was um, the army of King. Pachogun, but it's a uprising army. Okay, so the war is not yet over. Oh, he has more of those. You're a Buddhist or... Oh no, you're a Boon. Okay. You are Boon. You guys stay the hell away from my territory, okay? I don't mind you doing whatever you want over there, but just stay away from my territory. 
because otherwise I just have to get you. You know, that would be sad. Okay, let's check the situation with my vassals now. I know that some... Yeah, okay. When the worst of the vassals is minus 22 with you, you know that you are okay. He's Tengar Shaman. Again, with the usurpation of the title, I don't know what's up with that. And we are lacking a commander, yes, yes. Okay, you can become a commander. You can become a commander. So what's our relation now? Pretty neat. And it's only gonna get better. So can we do some stuff to get another acquire ingredients, but we could write a fear on paper. We do have time for some shenanigans. And even though the esoteric power is increasing, I feel like oh, I could perform scrying to Okay, do I have ingredients? I think I do have ingredients. Yes, I do. So let's perform scrying. I place the bowl before me and wait for the water to perf uh, to be perfectly still. Some crushed yarrow shall help see the pattern. The water is dark. I stare at it, unblinking, until my eyes begin to strain. It takes time, maybe hours, as time becomes fleeting. Then I see it. A fierce battle. I can almost hear the clanking of the swords. Nice. Martial plus one and personal combat skill plus one. Okay, he decided to come out of hiding. That's good. And major trading hub has been built. Uh, yeah. Okay, so that's the highest we can get. I thought there would be more. And tax flow income did not really increase that much. I was expecting there to be more of that. I still think I'm a bit iffy on how this works. I think maybe the trade value has a different meaning that I am giving it. I think this... Oh, 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 what is happening? Okay, it showed me a defeat, but I'm unsure of... This is that uprising, I think. They conquered a province. So, let's go with trade off next yeah I think this is really connected more to the Republic and to the value within a Republic and not really with us oh you are gonna be a good martial lady skill fighter unfortunately an idolizer too near half brother your no, wisdom and mercy are legend legendary if you like to no it has come to my attention that you still lack the proper office of alchemy. I do. I do. Okay, so that uprising is really wreaking havoc to our neighbor, which is kind of fun. Let him enjoy the pain. Army of Shenyanagari. Sima Sansi, though, is getting also wrecked. So he's probably not gonna win that war. Yeah, he's definitely not gonna win that war. But I think there will be a white piece soon because both of those armies are pretty much. On the other hand, this one is becoming quite potent. Enjoy your uprising, dudes. I don't mind that. For getting 17 gold per turn, we could go with the large mercenary garrison or the trade office. I'm thinking whether it's worth our time to build a medium mercenary garrison here, or the thriving post here. Your acquaintance Poon died on the suspicious... Oh, you've... oh my god, you did this! Oh my god. 
Well, at least he does have children and concubines, so he's gonna keep the dynasty afloat. Because we certainly are losing some people based on his merits. Merits is interesting. Is there that war still raging on? Or did you one piece him? No. Still raging on. Oh, good luck with that. Good luck with that. Now we have no luck here either. I think the chance is far away. Far away low, isn't it? About 10% per year. The new bird is almost too perfect. I enjoy every hunt with her. Oh, I don't want to be a falconer. I'm pleased to hear that after a period of peace and shrewd management, the country of Chiesa is doing well. Awesome. More prosperity for us. So, trade post in Sanja. And then we're, then we're gonna start. Okay, you're still not ready, right? Yeah. Then we're gonna start upgrading the other things. I'd like to get the medium mercenary garrison, because that one will help. And especially with the fort defense, and then these guys will help with the retinue size. Okay, we lost our rebationer for some reason. I don't know why, but we did. Okay, you're gonna be on rebationer next. Prostatize. I'm determined to figure this out one day. Queen Ha is no longer chief minister. Oh, my wife died of great pox! No! Oh, that poor thing. She succumbed to the great pox in the end. Okay, well now we need to think about this. We need to get a new... Uh, new wife. Is there anyone in our... territory? Well... You're my niece, so I'm not gonna marry my niece. And the rest of the ladies here are not interesting. What about you? They're 28. They're a strategist. Huh. And a fortune builder. She wants to get married. How would that work? Okay, we will lose 300 prestige. Let's check if there's someone... You do have a daughter. You have a number of daughters, but they're so young. Okay, let's marry that uh, woman. She wanted to get married, so let's give her a chance. I'm willing to give her a chance. She wants to get married, she's gonna get it. Okay, we're losing 300 prestige on that, but I believe that's gonna be fine. And we need a chancellor. My kinswoman. Okay. Your kinswoman it is then. Continue with the work of my previous wife. So what is my new wife like? Queen Saiha of Rikadza. She has awful intrigue. Awful learning, awful diplomacy, but she's a decent martial and good steward. She's just paranoid, but cruel, diligent, content, strategist. Well, okay, I like that. <laughs> wow. Oh my god, we have a hundred with him now. What happened? Granted the duchy, vassal transfer, imprisoned... One child likes a focus. Oh. Well, you're a blessing. Struggle then. My grandson. And special titles are grantable. Oh, 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 oh. So that's why she died due to great pox. We had no court physician who would take care of her. And we still have no great physician. So can we get... Get one, yes. Recruit a court physician. And let's see. Wow, we're, ge wow, we're 
having a ton of technology points. Holy crap. Okay, uh, I wanted to grant the other titles first though, so designated regent is not gonna be you, it's gonna be my wife. And where the hell is my wife is the question. And what honor title designated regent and also an apprentice. Good, and the court physician were recruiting and there's no missing commander so that's fine. Okay, he's getting beaten again. I don't think he's gonna... I never thought he had a chance, but this is a bit ridiculous. And while after you spread the word that you are seeking the employ of a court physician, one of the Daoshis from Xiema arrived at your court. The Seneca Daoshi introduced himself as Yuan Hang and expressed a wish to serve you. Although seeing as this individual is shunned by the rest of the Daoshis, uh, the religious authorities are unlikely to approve, but he is a renowned physician, so I do take him. Leave your dusty old tomes and join me at my court. So it's gonna piss quite a lot of people. I think it gives minus 10 to everyone, yeah. Uh, but we should be fine. Yeah, 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 look at that. Wait, that's the court. Vassals. Ah, uh, still only three kind of dislike me, so that's fine. Though she's can get bent. Okay, and what are we gonna invest in here? That's, that is pretty good. Light infantry, heavy infantry, cavalry. Let's go with heavy infantry. Here there's nothing. We can go with construction. I think I'm gonna wait. And culture advances. We could go with popular customs. Okay, popular customs it is. I have to start. I have started to feel that turn the other cheek is just stupid. Oh no, use the patient. Fate smiles upon me, my concubine is pregnant. Awesome. Title can be usurped. I really wish we could get rid of the gout. There's that try something new thing. <laughs> but I don't think that's gonna be the case here. I don't think we're gonna be able to do that anytime soon because we're not brave and bravery is what is dragging us down so we're building the major trade hub oh lazi increasing infrastructure new roads build cost type modifier um you the next thing is mercenary garrison okay oh that's Oh man, we're gonna have 5.9, so it can still be sieged. It just uh, is the most unlikely target for a siege. Oh, that sucks. Game, why are you doing that? But garrison size plus 500%. That doesn't seem all that bad. Quarantine. At age 24, your courtier. Wukong, he died of infected wound. A firework skill has been built in Rikatsa. Nice. Garrison size, military technology points, plus one. While carrying out my duties, I met this douchebag. Uh, I must be patient. I must be patient. I don't want... Oh, wow. You guys are expanding. And so is Byzantine Empire though. Oh my god, they conquered parts of Italy. We might see a big uprising here. Basilea Sergia. Tyrant. Impaler. Tyrant and Tyrant. Exalted. Strong Basileus. I'm told by the educators that my daughter Ruin remains interested in scholarship. I believe the heavens have a plan for her, though she is learning one. That is not exactly. <laughs> and I did plan the educational focus Marshall for her, so that doesn't really suit her needs, but maybe she's gonna, you know, work on it in her own time or something. So let's go with the medium mercenary garrison here. 
That's gonna give us a boost to garrison size. What is it? 100. Small trade garrison 30. Small mercenary garrison 1. 300. 400. And now we're gonna get extra 500. And a major trading hub has been built in... Oh wow, here it changed it a lot. Here it went to 41. Why did it not happen here? Oh, we went to 25 now. Hm. The Protector General of the Illustrious Emperor addresses a letter to the eminent king of the Kingdom of Rakadze. May good health be with you. The heavenly Borjigin Oktuhur, Emperor's hands hung of the Empire, is most sorry to hear about the death of Narin Narin, your master engineer. Oh! We lost our master engineer. Okay, in Nauchi, you're our scholar bureaucrat. So we're gonna continue in that. And we're gonna look into... Can we get another master engineer? 700 grace. Ah, wow, that's gonna be expensive. Send a concubine. Could we? 365 grace. Uh, to the heroic king of Pungongfu, beast, beast be with you. We propose that Dugan Buryat and Princess Pung marry. Heir to the Mongol Empire. Kagan Nagai. Ah, uh, no. You spend an evening with Duke Pung Gonfu as he goes on length about the importance of Taoist virtues. He turns into a wife of debate, and one Pung Gonfu seems insistent on winning. When a debate against me, ha! And child lacks a focus. Your kinsman. Go with. Thrift. And our son was born to us, Zongmin. So we have a new heir. Don't we? We well, know our grandson. I found Zongmin would take this over. Oh, yes, chest pains. Trigorous King Pungulfu the second. Your wisdom and mercy are legendary. Oh, my half sister! We proposed that King Hanchogun and Princess Pung Honey of Ricardo marry. I agree. So now we should have an non aggression pact with Pungulfu. Yes. And how about an alliance? No. Okay, but that one I'm okay with. Call for my court physician at once. Please tell me my son's not gonna kick the butt. This. <laughs> An ill treatment. Okay, goodbye, Zongumen. It has been nice to. How long have you been here? About a month. Ill treatment. Well, okay. Not everything can work, I guess. Not everything can work. Okay, also only border disputes. Yes. Zongumen died. It doesn't matter what we did, he died anyway. Ah, you will be missed. One child lacks an educational focus. Oh, you're depressed. Hold on. Hold that thought. We're gonna get you a stewardship focus, and we're gonna brew you a potion of Odaimonia. And you can... Hmm... I already have an intrigue. Playful and indolent. Nagara is deceitful and lunatic. Humility. Timid. Trusting, kind, content. With etiquette. One weak claim can be pressed. Claim calm. I kind of find it funny that it's a one province kingdom, but okay. 
I brewed the potion and she is now feeling way better. Good for her. Anyway, I'm gonna end the episode here and start the next one because this has been going for over the designated 20 minutes I like. So, see you in the next episode.